Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to the latest pick a card reading. Now, those of you who are pick a card fans, you know that it's usually uploaded by now and because I record it on the Thursday morning and I try to put it together or edit it on the Thursday evening and then I try to launch it on the Friday morning, all Australia time. And right now it's Friday afternoon, so I'm very late. So apologies for being a little bit late this time, but everything overran this week. I had quite a few readings to do. I, um, I had some admin to do at the start of the week. Everything got pushed back. So what I've done is I've brought my deck of cards. So I've got one deck of cards and we've got just the Jupiter cards from the Vedic Astrology deck. And because it's Jupiter, last night I had the idea that we should come and do this episode at a university campus. Why not? I just happen to have one nearby. And um, we'll come here and we'll go in that direction. There's a library over there. And what I thought we could do is, and I've never done this before, so I have no idea if this is going to work, but I've got my iPhone. And what I thought we could do is walk into the library and I'll whisper very quietly and we will try to find a book for group one we'll find a book for group two a book for group three each of you is going to get a different book and you're going to get a different quote and then we'll use that quote as the basis of your reading okay so let's try it so you can click below you can watch all the little mini intros for group one two and three see which quote you like and which book I suppose and then hop into your reading and then I think we might come and film here this is really nice this is new this area it's a um, little outdoor space with all these lovely tables I'll try and show you it's this kind of sort of a thing here and then we've got these lovely trees like all around here I don't know if you can see that whoops I can't even see what you're seeing hold on yeah there we go that kind of thing so <laughs> how about we do that I think that's gonna be lots of fun um, and as I say, I've never done this book thing before, but let's give it a go. Maybe it'll work because it's Jupiter, guys. And Jupiter is all about the journey. Jupiter is about taking a big, big, long journey to acquire information or to learn something or to search and seek something and find something. So yeah, let's try this out. So I'll see you in your, well, I'll see you in the quotes and then I'll see you in your group. Group number one, your book is called, your book is Rome. Let's take this one.
radio quoi what's here. Hi there group number one, if you chose group number one then you're in the right place and this time you would have chosen it by the quote. Now I have no idea how the quote videos are going to turn out, I hope it turns out good, it was a lot of fun to do. I'll tell you though I was worried and I was a bit like nervous because I was thinking am I going to get a quote and it's like it's a library of course I'm going to get quotes but sometimes when there's too much choice you can get really worried because you think, well, am I going to get the right thing? Do I know what I'm doing? And I didn't know what I was doing. And when I walked in through the doors, I observed that like I didn't have my glasses and I suddenly felt like, oh no, I don't have my glasses. I can't see what the sections are. And in the end, I just walked and seriously, I just picked up books. And yeah, I think I picked up four books. Group two, I picked up two and then I ended up choosing the second one. For you, I just found this. And I think for group three, yeah, I just found that Maverick one and I was like, okay, that's that. So how amazing, that was fun to do. All right, let's see your quote. In case you didn't watch your quote thing, we've got here group one quote from a book called Rome. Generals thought in the short term with an eye always on opportunities when they returned. So the reason I chose this, I thought this was quite interesting because group one, you guys are, you guys are always creating something. Well, all groups are, but you know, I mean, with group one for the last many weeks, I liked this short term and an eye on opportunities. I liked that a lot because I feel like you're, like the headlights on your life have been reduced. You've only got so much visibility ahead. That's what I feel group one has been going through, say for example, over the last few months. So clearly you're a general, you're in charge of something, you're in charge of your own life, you're building something, you're creating something, you're doing something. You're leading yourself and or others. You've got to think in the short term, why? Because your, it's like your visibility has been reduced. You can only see so much ahead. And you've got to have your eye on the opportunities. What are the opportunities here now? It's kind of futile to be thinking too far ahead for you. That's what it feels like with group one because group one for the longest time has been getting like a lot of um, hanged man and you know, sit tied and all that kind of thing. You've been getting a lot of that. So let's shuffle these. So these are the Jupiter cards. What does Jupiter want you to know? Okay. Yeah, and Rome. So you're some kind of like empire builder or something like that, right? So let's see. What does Jupiter want you to know? Wow, Jupiter in the 12th. Beautiful. So this says, spends much time on spiritual growth, potential for long distance relationship, debt or bankruptcy, exposes secrets. 
doesn't care for material things. Interestingly, we've also got a plane overhead. I don't know if you can hear that, but we've got a plane overhead. All right, so we've got this and we'll see what else comes as well. I hope you're doing well also, by the way, group one, wherever you are. Ooh, I'm just turning around because I don't want to be too noisy. Ah, there are people. All right, we've got the Six of Cups, Nostalgia. Beautiful. Okay. I figure we're going to take three cards and we're just going to check in really and see how you are doing. Okay, take that one and this one. Right. Okay. Seven of Pentacles. Yep, you're assessing. You're assessing your empire. We've got here memories. Nostalgia. Okay. And uh, let's see. Oh, wow. Ten of Swords. Okay. Well, you're completing a cycle here. Group number one. And I think this is the death of needing that long-term vision. That's what I think this is about. I think you are, because we started with this quote. And it's like you, you're going to have to be looking in the short term. And you're going to have to be looking what opportunities are here for me now. You're not going to be able to keep going into the past or the past is gone. The past is done. Uh, and I think this ending here just represents you acknowledging that. And I think you're at a place of assessing. You're assessing where you are now. Okay, that's not good. We don't want these to fly away. Okay, these two flew away. That is interesting. Let's come back here. I don't know if I need the microphone today. We'll find out. Hold on. I might have to edit this one a little bit, guys. <laughs> the cards just flew away. Let's do this. Let's keep them here. Six of... Yeah, I kind of think that this is the end of... You... Needing... To, have, to be able to see a, like far into the future to feel safe. I think that's what this is about. Because you're becoming more spiritual, right? And when you become more spiritual, you do not need, uh, you're much more happy to just be in the now and let the future unfold. You don't need to know 10, 20 years into the future. That's what I think this is about for you, group number one. Let's see, let's, should we take any more guidance? Let's take one more. It's so amazing. I've just started doing this reading and we've got someone just behind me. This place has been so quiet for a long time. Doesn't matter, always happens. Tradition, ah. Tradition, learning, education. And Jupiter, you know, it's kind of like hmm, I'm looking at this and I'm looking at this. And see, I was being distracted earlier by the fact because of course, it, you know, people can come and go and be here. And we want that. But it's like I was being distracted by the fact that someone has come. Isn't that interesting? Wow, we've got another plane. There's a lot of movement, group number one. 
Oh, and that guy who's decided to have his lunch here, he's moving about quite a bit too now. Interesting. <laughs> I can see his reflection in the window. Movement, okay, so we've got movement in your life. We do. Oh, and the whole order of this has changed as well. It's kind of like, well, this puts a new spin on it, actually. You're learning new ways. And you're learning how to be more content in the now, how to not need long-term vision or long-term plans. Learning, that's what this card is. And creating new traditions uh, as well. Group number one, the energy here is really good. I must say, I'm, I feel like, yeah, th this is really, really good progress. Might not seem like it with this um, Ten of Swords here, but it's, this is a good ending that you've experienced. I'm not getting any feeling of, oh no, <laughs> you know, when, you, when this card comes, it's like a oh no kind of card. I'm not getting that feeling. I think you're doing amazing. So group number one, let me know how you got on in the comments below. I would love to hear from you and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there group number two. If you chose group number two then you are in the right place or if you chose by the quote. Now for you group two it was interesting because I think I picked up a different book but then it had nothing in it and so I thought well I won't bother with that. But then I came to this book, which was Consuming the Romantic Utopia. And I thought I'd jot it down just in case my iPhone died and I wouldn't be able to look it up. So anyway, um, here is the quote. So it says here, marriage at its best is a sacrament of friendship. Deeper than passion, deeper than sentiment is that more intellectual and more ethical bond we rightly call friendship. So I thought that was an interesting quote. And some of you might like this quote for different reasons. Some of you might be looking for a romantic utopia. Some of you might be wanting guidance on your love life or your marriage. Some of you might be interested in friendship. You know, this quote is really interesting, isn't it? Because it brings up lots of different things. So let's see what the cards have to say. Um, I, I quite like this quote. I mean, I think it's a nice idea. So let's let's explore further and let's see. And it is a little bit windy, so I'm going to try to not have the cards fly away. <laughs> That's going to be interesting. I might use this thing. Hang on, how about that? That thing might be able to hold. Yeah, okay, there we go. I, th I think we can do this. They won't fly away. All right, so let's pick up the first card which is, which is what does Jupiter want you to say what does he want you to learn about marriage romance friendship utopia whatever it is right whatever it is that brought you here Jupiter oh <laughs> Jupiter wants you to think about your work <laughs> no let's have a look um Jupiter I mean look maybe he wants you to be philosophical he's in the 10th here let's have a look so we've got Jupiter in the 10th house excels in academia in leading others doesn't work well under a boss. Brilliant public speaker, loves both mother and father and their family values. Yeah, and I mean, this is kind of showing something about how you've been schooled in love. You know, you've been schooled in love or friendship predominantly and yeah, primarily by your, your parents, right? Mother and father. So Jupiter in the 10th here has a respect for you know the, the rule of the father any 10th house planet really is you know it can even be seen as the voice of the father um, but these 10th house people are you know they will respect uh, family tradition yeah and the, the values of their parents and all that kind of thing so when it comes to your love life when it comes to friendship a lot of how you do that in the early days is going to be based on what you saw of your parents uh, and what they taught you you know so okay that's interesting let's explore more let's see what other cards come up 
And it's so good, you know, to go somewhere different to do this Jupiter episode because Jupiter loves to go on travels, right? Love to go far away places, go to a library. So I thought I'd come out and do that. Oh, fantastic. The Fool, look at that. Beautiful. Wow. That's stunning. It's a card of a lot of excitement. You're going on a new journey. And you know, when, when I see this, it's like the leap of faith. Maybe there's some leap of faith that you have to make in your life at the moment. Let's take a look. Let's see what that is. Is there a leap of faith? Wow, we've got a lot of planes overhead too. We didn't have this much air traffic like an hour or two ago. Interesting. Okay, let's see what else comes. Take that one. Ooh, the Ace of Swords, nice. So definitely a new beginning here. And this could be a new intellectual beginning because as I said, you know, you could be quite philosophical with the professor in the 10th here. This could be a new beginning in love or at work. Let's draw a couple more cards and see if we've got any more information. What are you beginning here? What's this new beginning? Okay. All right, the Eight of Swords. Well, to me, what I got straight away when I saw this is, I, the first thing I thought was, this is the end of, this, you've finished, you're done with any feelings of victimization, the end of victimhood, the end of, uh, you know, feeling small or less than or, and, th and that could be in friendships or relationship with significant other. It feels like you're done with that, but I want to explore more. Let's see, any further guidance, any further guidance on this Eight of Swords here? But yeah, the first thing that came to me was it's the end of the whole victim thing for you. Wow, victory. Look at that. Yeah. Yep. This is pretty clear what's going on here. Any relationship that you're in, significant relationship. And this could be this could be any kind of relationship. This doesn't have to be uh, just romantic or friendship. This could even be parents as well. You're, you're done with the whole victim thing. You're done with feeling small, feeling less than. And I'm also getting like the phrase, you don't need to apologize for anything. It's so interesting, this apology thing, because I, I actually think it's fine to apologize for stuff. I think it's big and noble and kind and good to, to apologize, you know, but you don't have to. I feel like, and maybe you've been, it's so interesting this is coming up, maybe you've been in relationships where you've had to, um, you know, just like maybe you've taken the role of being the simple, humble one just to like keep the peace or something. But that's, no, that that's not it. But you see, that's that's not you anymore it's like you're um, and we go through layers of this you know we go through so many layers of this I've gone through a lot of layers of this I keep going through it it's like um, certain friendships and they run their course they're there for a time and then you know you just know that that's not that's not the thing so there's so much new energy here and success here. And that's if you don't allow yourself to be smaller than anyone or not equal to anyone or just do it to keep the peace or no. And I'm not seeing like that you changing is going to cause any grief or difficulty for anybody. No, I, I think people will be fine. Yeah, I just heard that bird just then. Agree. 
<laughs> I feel like people will be fine. I, I feel like you changing on the inside and taking this leap of faith to be the new empowered you, to only accept equal relationships. This could be a thing of cutting cords or you're getting out of something. But victory, look at that, you're going to be victorious. This is good energy here, group number two. And I like, it does fit, you know, with the quote, because your quote, and I'm going to try and do this without, hang on, I'll do that, they, they won't fly away. Ah, there we go. The quote, yeah, it's more intellectual and more ethical bond, we rightly call friendship. It's like, and there, we've got another plane going overhead, it's like you're moving towards friendships and relationships that are that don't demand so much of you that perhaps are more intellectual and more ethical so more honest and good people who treat you in an equal way these are going to be your friends you're moving towards that group number two <coughs> Apologies, I'll just edit out those bits where I'm coughing. So yeah, there might be some throat chakra clearing. You might need to speak up in some relationship as well. I am getting a sense of that. You might need to speak up. If you do, speak up in your way. You know, um, be you. And you'll find that you're going to be victorious in this situation. Don't worry about offending anyone or... Or like saying the wrong thing or, you know, I, m I might upset someone or don't worry about that. Because like this Jupiter in the 10th is very much about authority. And it's like when you speak, people listen. So if there's something you need to speak up about, do so in, the, in a way that's you. And if you're, you are a kind person and you're gentle and all that, be that. But speak and speak firmly. And people are going to respect you massively uh, at this time. Group number two, I hope this has been a good reading for you. Let me know in the comments below how you got on. I would love to hear from you and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group number three. If you chose group number three, then you are in the right place. Or if you chose by this quote from the library, I'm just laughing because the title of the book is called Maverick and that's kind of weird that of all the books I run into in the library it just happens to be now I assume that I, I should go back and check that book out a long time ago I wrote this story and anyway I, I created I invented this thing about someone who wrote a book called Millionaire Maverick or something like that I don't know so that was kind of funny that I came across a book that was kind of like that so anyway I decided to pick it up and I had no idea. I had no idea that I was going to choose this, but, but there it is. Now, I liked the title, Thinking for a Living, and I liked this. They would have all their free time to think. Isn't that nice? And I just like this concept of thinking for a living because when I set out, you know, doing whatever work I've done, I've always looked for work where been able to think or I've been able to think up ideas or I've been, I've been able to you know if it has some thinking component to it I'm kind of interested in it so this reading could be about your work group number three this could be and we've got another plane overhead every single group this time has got a plane that is just amazing wow well maybe that's a sign maybe you're gonna be flying somewhere soon that is actually why I'm a little bit delayed this week because I went to this place to organize um, a permanent visa for India so that was on Monday and that's why I'm late that because of that one day it has thrown the whole week off so yeah everything is kind of a day behind everyone who booked their reading got their reading perfectly on time so of course my paying customers they will always receive their stuff absolutely on time but everything else has been delayed 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 <laughs> 
So yeah, that's all right. Anyway, we're gonna see what does Jupiter want to say to you, and we're gonna see. So this is something you've you've obviously picked this quote because you perhaps would like to think for a living, maybe, or you know, get paid to come up with ideas, get paid to think for others. Something you know, like being in the abstract world, maybe. Okay, let's see how we go. Ah, and do you know what? You're the last reading of the week and I'm super happy about that because I'm so tired. What a week it's been. Oh wow, Jupiter in the 10th again. Okay, well, you definitely want to think for a living. Yeah, that, that's the, uh, this, this couldn't be more appropriate. We've just had that in group two, but it's slightly different here. This is very much about you wanting to think for a living. You wanting to teach maybe stuff to people or yeah, we've got here excels in academia, in leading others, doesn't work well under a boss, brilliant public speaker, loves both mother and father and their family values. Wonderful. Okay, so we've got confirmation here that when it comes to what you want to do for a living, I would imagine that you would want to, uh, you know, yeah, use your mind, you know, that kind of thing. Jupiter in the 10th, perfect. All right, what do we have here? <clears throat> We've got the Page of Swords, okay, nice, and of course thinking for a living does mean that you're always learning new things, and that's what the Page of Swords is very much all about. The Three of Wands, so you're looking out to the future, you're planning, you're working out, you're plotting, you're figuring out, okay, what, you know, what do I want to create next? Oh, beautiful, the Nine of Pentacles, yeah. I think there is a lot of contentment here. You're content being on your own. You're content doing your own thing. You're enjoying yourself. And you're grateful for what you have. Look at that. Look at all these pentacles here. There's a real feeling of gratitude for what you have. And when you're grateful for what you have, <clears throat> apologies about my throat today, guys. When you're grateful for what you have, you will build more. That is such a key energy to building the life of your dreams. You've got to be grateful for where you are in the now, for what you have. I think there's a quote that goes something like, start where you are, use what you have, start where you are something like start start where you are use what you have do what you can something like that if I find it I'll put it on the screen so that you can see it when I'm editing I'll put it on the screen but I really like that quote because because usually if the divine isn't giving you something new it means you've got everything you need and the divine is probably waiting for you, right? So sometimes when we're waiting, we're waiting because we think, well, I can't do that because I don't have this, or I can't do that because I'm missing this, or you know, there's some lack or something like that. But it's like, no, you probably got everything. This card is definitely telling me you have everything. You might be waiting for something. What are you waiting for? three you're waiting for your ships to come in you're waiting for what are you waiting for let's have a look what are you waiting for group number three oh, let's take that okay you're waiting for a knight of pentacles all right so when you're waiting for something it's going to take time maybe um Hmm. All right, let's keep going. You're waiting for something that's going to take time. Slowest card in the deck. What are you waiting for? <laughs> Ooh, five of five of swords. Are you waiting for a conflict to resolve? 
This is really interesting because you are, there's a lot of, so we got a lot of swords. No, we do have a bit of fire, okay. We got a lot of swords here. So I'm kind of getting the feeling that you are up in your head a lot. Okay, we do have this quote, thinking for a living, right? What's the conflict about? Let's take a look. Or what is the conflicted energy within you? Ooh. Ten of Pentacles. Nice. Hmm. Um. What are you conflicted about? You might be conflicted about what you really want in life. A little bit, just a little bit, not much. I'm not getting any show-stopping energies here, right? I'm not getting anything that's telling me. So I think, I think the way to speed up your ships coming in is to get a bit more clear about what it is that you want. Because that's the only place where there's a tiny little bit of conflict at this time. And the other thing is, I also think that what you want is gonna take time to build. It's, gonna, it's just gonna take time. It's, it's one of those Saturnian type things where you can't do it in a day. You can't achieve it in one night. It's gonna take years to build. But I think you know that as well. I think you're totally, yeah, you're on that. You know that. We do have movement. We've got, you have had the most planes in the sky in this reading. So that's pretty incredible. So there is movement. And I kind of do get a sense that you're, you're building up your mm, wealth and assets. There will be movement. That movement time is coming. It's not far away. So there will be change and shift and interesting things and all of that, which is leading you to your dream life. But it just feels like this dream life vision needs a bit more refining. There's a little something that you're conf conflicted about as to what it is that you really want. And you'll know what that is. You'll know where the conflict lies. But it doesn't feel like there's yeah, I'm kind of getting a, a sense of, it doesn't feel like there's much for you to do. Like in terms of refining this vision or whatever. I don't see that you, you have too much to do here. It's nice energy though, group number three. And I think if your dream is to create a life of the mind where you are thinking for a living, <laughs> right of being a maverick or whatever it is like you want to do uh i think you're going to be able to do that i think that's going to be that's here now i i also think that that's here now what's stopping you nothing like there's nothing stopping you from doing what it is that you want right now but equally if there is some kind of shift you need and i feel like it's just this is a timeless reading so i'll say like a couple of months away we're gonna have but if you're watching this in the now and interested in the now it's kind of jan 18 2023 you're gonna start to see sh some shifts start to happen but i'll just say for a timeless purpose if you're watching this anytime a couple of months from now you'll start to see some shifts some new energies some new things otherwise keep enjoying the life of the mind keep learning group number Three, you need to learn, keep learning, learn more stuff, enjoy that phase. Because when you get busy doing your work, you won't have time to indulge in this. And you'll miss this time that you're in now, where you get to do stuff like just read books and study and think and have fun. Right? So, group number three. I hope this has been a good reading for you. Let me know how you got on in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much as well for joining me here at my local university campus. It has been a nice day for me too. I've needed to just 
get away from my desk and do something different. So thank you so much for stopping by and I look forward to seeing you next time.